What's going on guys? GeoSnow right here. So in today's video we're going to discuss about that little iPhone 5 or 5C that you might have lying around running iOS 10.x and not being jailbroken that you might be able to downgrade back to iOS 9 and jailbreak it using the re-restore bug. We're going to get into it right now. So uh, you probably know that I made this video previously, probably three weeks ago, in which I discussed about the iOS 9.3.5 downgrade to iOS 9.0 being achieved using a re-restore bug discovered by a couple of guys. Well, that was something cool, but uh, yesterday I made a video in which we discussed about Prometheus, the uh, tool that you probably know for downgrade created by Teamstar, uh, for which we have a profile in here, that uh, is now supporting the 32-bit devices, although in beta, and is going to add support for the re-restore bug soon. Well, in this video, I didn't mention something about the bug and the fact that it's now very powerful and it's going to be updated into the um, into the Prometheus thing. So um, I only told you that you should save your blobs in this video, and of course, I showed you how to how to do that. But um, one of the guys that probably followed the video, Marcus L, to which I want to thank, uh, told me about this uh, link in here. I have already read the uh, the article, but I decided not to make a video on it for some reason. I do not know why. But he pointed out that the re-restore bug is now much more powerful and is going to be included into the um, Prometheus tool, but it's not for the moment. So why is this, is this bug so special? We discussed about it. Uh, it requires blobs, it requires... Uh, 32-bit devices, why is that special? Well, previously it was not known very good um, and it was the power of this bug wasn't known uh, to the truly extent of it. So what that means? Well, previously it was uh, believed that this bug can only restore from iOS 9.3.5 to any 9.x firmware. Turns out that it works for iOS 10, iOS 6, iOS 7, iOS 8 as well. Which means that if you have that special blob that I, uh, that I discussed about in the uh, first video, so if you want to learn more, you can go ahead and here, you are able to go from iOS 10.2 or 10.2.1 or 10.3 back to iOS 9 with no problem, even though iOS 9 wasn't signed for literally ages and you are able to jailbreak that is pretty damn good and you can already do that if you have the blobs saved and if you're if you're among the uh, the few people that did save the blobs for iOS 9.x then you can go ahead and here and use Teamstar Future Restore okay it's very damn buggy for the moment and it's very damn in beta but there are already a couple of tweets to Teamstar in which people are claiming the restore succeeded from iOS 9.0 to 9.1 and so on. Well, the iOS 9.0 and 9.1 weren't signed for, I think, a year or even more, which means that uh, these firmwares couldn't be normally installed. And look at it, it simply got restored. Check out this, uh, this image. So pretty damn good. This means that your iPhone uh, 5 or your iPhone uh, 5C that were dropped by Apple in iOS 10.3.2 might be uh, able to be jailbroken again. Now, the uh, the power the power of this bug is much more known, and uh, if you do have the uh, the blob saved, you should probably go ahead and try uh, with the betas. Maybe you get it working. It's not something that works 100%, and I'm going to tell you why. The blob that you have must be a specific kind of blob. And according to Marcus L in here, he says, quote, Great news, I successfully managed to use update blobs with the re-restore bug, with patches. We only need uh, to exclude ODA blobs now. End quote. What this means, let me explain a little bit how the restore process works, for you to understand why the blobs are required and how they work. Well, when you're downloading the IPSW, as would be the case in, um, in this re-restore bug, and you try to restore it, if you put the device in recovery or DFU mode, iTunes will automatically require a, uh, from the server, from Apple server, a erase um, blob. That is going to make use, of course, of the uh, erase RAM disk inside the IPSW. There are two of them, erase and update, alongside with the kernel, the LLB, the iBoot, um, the rest of the files, for example, the um, 
the fla flash related files like Apple logo, like battery uh, plugins and so on. But the most important thing is the fact that you have uh, a RAM disk for update and one for erase. The, the one for erase is pretty self-explanatory, is going to remove anything from the device and the one for update is used from uh, migrating to a software version to another while the device is in normal mode. That is important. And, and what is the OTA? We do not have an OTA RAM disk, right? Well, we do. If you're pressing that update button on the device when you're getting an update, it's going to download actually a bundle containing a, uh, an OTA related uh, RAM disk and that is going to either update or erase, but it's going to update in general and it's, uh, it's going to require an OTA blob from the Apple server. So in that case, the uh, real restore bug is not working with that. But you have the most common ones, the update and the erase, that do work. Marcus L actually uh, say on Twitter, said on Twitter that this is not April Fool's, despite the fact that it's published on April the 1st. Anyways, uh, going back in here, if the um, Prometheus tool released by Teamstar is actually working with this 32-bit uh, devices by now, then it is going to be very good. Now, one way to actually uh, check the blobs if they, are met, uh, if they met the uh, specific requirements is to see if they do have this string, which is the string that um, I think is the beginning of the nouns. I do not know. You can check that out inside your, your blob. What, but... This does not require a jailbreak. This is why it's important. You can go ahead in here and watch this video to understand more. We discussed more about this um, this bug, but uh, you, this doesn't require any jailbreak, doesn't require any firmware keys. The only thing that you need to have is the blob that is used to restore. And you're going to be able to go from iOS 9 to iOS, um, sorry, from iOS 10 to iOS 9, from iOS 8 to iOS 9, even from iOS 6 to iOS 9 which is very damn good. And of course, you're going to be able to jailbreak. This guy's in here, a handful of guys that were working on the uh, on the project say that the, um, the bug itself can be patched by Apple and will probably be patched by Apple at some point, but hopefully it is not going to be, um, to be patched. So uh, if you wanna check it out, uh, if you want to read more about this article, you can go ahead in here. I'm going to, uh, to link the iDownload blog article and also be sure to check out this video because although it's titled iOS 9.3.5 downgrade to 9.0, you're going to get more info about the process itself. And also do not forget if you haven't uh, saved your blobs and you do not have any ways to, to go back to iOS 9.x and you missed this train, to say so, then you should probably go ahead and save your iOS 10.2.1 blobs at least because they're going to be useful in the future and for that you're going to follow this video. This is actually it guys, pretty damn good news for the 32-bit devices, as I said they were dropped and so uh, the updates from Apple are going to be fewer and this means it's going to be happy for the users on 32-bit. So this is actually it. Till the next time, do not forget, check out the description down below for more information. I'm Geosnow, peace out.